simple understanding that over the years, you know, when the Bible was devised, when it was put together, when the Quran, the Holy Quran was put together, the mentality was at a different level. And with time, you know, people get advanced with their little technologies. And, but certain things are left behind, like the spiritual growth, you know, where yes. people should really do that internal work. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talk about Shaitan quite a lot. Uh, we have part of him in, inside us too. And we need to win that battle between the God and the evil, you know? It's a big uh, uh, big jihad, jihad. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So what I would say is, <laughs> if I say... Well, no, but this is what we say. We study this as well. We study. We have, you need to look. You need to learn. We have, see, we yeah. have a lot of... Because you like, may find things for yourself that you'd be surprised families. about. They make a big research. They make a, like a conference for other people to know what is Islam, what is it. And as well the Christians as well. This is why we know what is so yeah. we have nothing to divide us, but you know, this the only so thing... I think what I would say then, if you're saying that the, the best model of a society is the Medinan model, yes, we agree with you 100%. So the same. question I, I would ask then is, are you calling to the Medinan model? We, I would say that uh, all those brothers and sisters that lost their way and uh, not aiming to get to God, uh, but aiming to get to a position of power or wealth, they should seriously consider, because we don't have much time. We really have to make this society work in a different way in order for it to survive. You see, brother, from my perspective as a Muslim, the greatest influence that a person can have on humanity comes from the Creator Himself. Yes, of course. If I try to fashion something, that is outside of the explicit teachings of the Creator, it might or might not be successful, but it certainly won't be as successful as what the Creator has established. And to be able to persuade people to adopt a particular system, if it can be established that that system is from the Creator, then you have a very powerful persuasive message. Because now it's not, sorry, what's your name? Edward. Edward Abbas, yeah? And sister, your name? Eliana. Eliana. Yes. So now it's not Edward's opinion. And it's not the Creative Society's opinion. It becomes the opinion of the one whose opinion is supersedes all opinions, which is the Creator. Yes. So this is why we are, and we, and we don't want to be divisive, but what we want to say to you, as you've already accepted, that since this Medina model and the model that's within intrinsically, explicitly within Islam, if adopted, would transform the world, then it only makes sense to call people to that because the teachings still message. Message. They're still there. They're still yeah. there but that's key you point. see, the trouble, and, is, yeah. the trouble is, as time goes by, information gets distorted. I mean, we, we can only have to look at what happened to um, when the Prophet was here. Uh, Omar, what did he do? Omar Khattab, uh, yeah. uh, this, this, is, this is a constant strive for power. Anyone gets near that. Position. So, what, sorry, what did he do? I don't understand. Well, he, yeah. well I, I don't want to. No, no, that's fine. So, what? No, no, it's, but it's, 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 don't worry. If you okay, need to. No, 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 sister, it's okay if you say that under the reign of Umar Khattab, there was an expansive war. One can, one can say this, it's not disrespectful, this is history. And we can, we can talk about that if you want to, inshallah. Uh, you, we can talk about that, inshallah. Because you see, Allah says something very interesting in the Quran. Under certain circumstances, fighting is prescribed for you. But let's just, just hear me out. And then Allah qualifies that statement. And Allah says, perhaps you detest the thing that actually may be benefit for you, good for you. I know, we know this. Now, now sometimes a person might emotionally, <clears throat> they may argue that any form of warfare or any form of fighting is bad. We must be completely, uh, <clears throat> um, completely opposed to any form of physical interaction in that way. <clears throat> but Allah, Allah qualifies that. And he says that perhaps, perhaps this, you may detest something where Allah has actually placed something that is benefic beneficial to you. Yes, but, 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 but what's important, sister, is that 
we understand the limitations and we understand when such a thing is appropriate, not according to your feelings or my feelings, but according to the, the instructions of the Creator Himself. Because you see, brother, what it is, we have the pixel and Allah has the entire picture. Our judgment is based upon that pixel. We shouldn't judge. And we may feel that this is inappropriate or this is wrong, but really the reality is that your and my feelings are subjective. <clears throat> and it's built upon our nurture and our nature. If the sister you were born 200 years ago, your views on things may be very different. As would have yours been or perhaps mine would have been if it was based upon a secular belief, for example. So for us, the yardstick to measure, uh, for us, to, the ruler to measure all reality, comes from the Creator Himself. Yeah, but there's a step before this. Sorry, I know. No, no, please. There's a step before this. So one is we're trying to create a, a, the, the perfect society on the earth, noble cause, and the Prophet peace upon him gave, you know, a, a, with guidance from Allah, set up the, the wonderful system of Medina. That's one thing. But there's, there's something more fundamental than this. For you as an individual, what are you here for and what, what, what is success for you? So there's one thing as a successful society, but for the individual, uh, what is the success for the individual? For the individual, success would be to, uh, um, to what Buddhists call rich enlightenment, or to, to go to heaven, go back to the Father, to the Creator. Right. Okay, so, and what is God? God is love. And if we, we spread that message, uh, it doesn't have a deed, it doesn't sit on the throne. We don't believe that as well. No. Yeah. So it, does, it doesn't have an image. Yes. This is where, where a lot of confusion, and we've done investigation yes. on that, why that is as well. Yes. But the point is, we as human beings need to learn our lessons here, yes. maintain our humaneness, yes. and progress to such levels so that we can go to heaven and prove to our Creator that we've done our job, our best, and, up, and, yeah. and he should be proud. Well, yeah. he should be proud of us as children. Can I, can I narrow this a little bit? Yeah. So I would, my, I can, I make a contention. This is something I say should always be true. Your, your purpose for being alive on the earth should never change. And what I mean by this is, 30 seconds before you're going to die, and from when you are an adult, full of strength, walking around. There should be no change in your purpose for being alive because you are alive. So in that context, you're 30 seconds away from dying, or you're a big strong man like the gentleman Mashallah behind us. Your your purpose cannot be different. So I would say to you, if you if you focus on this, that th person 30 seconds before their death, whether the society is good, whether the society is bad, whether the people are fighting or they're not fighting. It's not something that in his sphere he can consider. But his reason for being alive must be the same as the reason for you or me to be alive. And that the information from that must come from the creator. That's the only way to know. So a, a, a supercomputer will not know why it's made until the one that makes it tells it, this is why you were made. So, so my, 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 I would say success is meeting that purpose of life, doing what that is. And so, and, and the question is for you, in your research, what is the answer to that question that applies, and it has to apply to the man 30 seconds before they're dying, as well as to the man who is youthful and full of strength. So, so when you're youthful and full of strength, uh, you have all your wishes, your wants, your desires, uh, and you have to realize that there's no greater desire than to be with the creator. So that's, one, that's one thing. Oh, every time, every second. All, all the lessons we learn here, it's all, all the tests that we undergo here. It's our relations with other people, with strangers I haven't met you yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, and I, I am, I'm very happy that I have. Yeah. Uh, Likewise. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's to pass this simple message that we, we are one. Uh, and all our little wants and desires, they're the ones that divide us and drag us yeah. away from our true path to where we should be. So can I, can I give you the... So in the Quran, we are told the reason for the creation of a human being. Yeah. And, that, and the reason is to worship God. This is all we're here for. And then when the prophets come, and so that means worship God, it's a purity of worship. 
not focusing on uh,